They once tried to make Israel an auto empire. They made a car named Carmel and another one with a funny name, Susita, but both failed. Is it possible that computer vision experts, of all people, will make that automotive dream come true? And if so, how will autonomous vehicles affect our lives? The terms autonomous vehicles or driverless cars don't do justice to the revolutionary impact of automatic transportation. We are not only talking about our private cars, but also buses, trucks, and smaller delivery vehicles. All these will become automated and independent. The first, and perhaps most important result of this change, is fewer accidents, thereby saving many lives. 90% of accidents today are a result of human error. Autonomous cars aren't taken by surprise. They act predictably. They don't get tired, drink alcohol, or text while driving. They will take human error out of the equation and eliminate 99% of accidents. That adds up to 350 lives saved per year in Israel alone. Do you mean that autonomous vehicles won't be involved in accidents? They will, but significantly less. Vehicles will drive at a steady speed, will be more considerate of other vehicles, and eventually will even communicate with one another. Their reaction will be quicker, and they won't require traditional signals like stoplights or road signs. And how is Israel a leader in this field? It all starts with a car's brain. Israel's expertise doesn't lie in steelwork. Susita and the Carmel are examples of this. Rather, our expertise is in computer vision, artificial intelligence, and anything that has to do with thinking outside the box. While autonomous cars all over the world are passive, reacting to external events, we at Mobili programmed our car to be assertive in its driving and in the choices it makes on the road. A vehicle with an attitude? An assertive car that takes the lead. A passive car is hesitant and defensive. It confuses other vehicles and causes slowdown and even standstill. With Mobili's technology, our vehicle will lead traffic and help it move smoothly. We balance this assertiveness with an ethical guideline based on human behavior that defines what careful driving ought to be. We made this guideline available to all autonomous car manufacturers and hope they will embrace it, therefore setting the global standard of the future. Wait, if all autonomous vehicles will be so good and comfy, wouldn't everybody want to buy one? I believe the opposite will be the case. Using autonomous cars will be cheap, safe, and effective. They will save us the trouble of driving, looking for parking, car maintenance, and pumping gas. Only those who really want to drive, or those who would use it as their business, would buy a private car. As a result, vast areas that now serve as parking lots will be restored to the public. Cities will be less congested and cleaner, and the roads will be quieter, no honking or drivers yelling at each other. But wait! Driverless also means no front seat. Correct. You could redesign the car in an entirely different way. This would allow you to travel more comfortably and make use of the time you save by not driving. Some people may prefer to hire a car that enables them to work while driving. Others might like to play board games. There might even be those who fit in a workout on their commute home from work. I'll be able to study for a test, watch a movie, write a book, sleep, spend quality time with your family. The sky is the limit. On second thought, perhaps in 50 years, the sky is exactly where we will be.